Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name's Stuart Bradley. I'm the uh, Offshore Renewable uh, Strategy Manager. Sorry, can you? Is that any better? Okay, cool. Um, what I'd like to do is to, uh, is to tell you a little bit about the, uh, the ETI. Um, we're a public-private uh, partnership uh, with uh, six uh, industrial partners, uh, Shell and BP, Caterpillar, Rolls-Royce, EDF and E.ON, uh, as well as uh, investment from government in terms of uh, BIS and DEC, EPSA and the uh, TSB. Um, we have uh, a, a wide range of projects that we've invested in, and something like uh, 120 uh, project partners over 14 countries around um, uh, four continents. And uh, what we're uh, doing is looking towards the UK 2050 uh, carbon target, so down to the 80% uh, reduction. Uh, target. Uh, I'd like to have a look at the uh, marine energy roadmap that was published uh, last month. Um, it's out on the internet. So if you have a look on our website, you'll find a copy of it there. And uh, uh, and this chart that I've put up here shows the uh, the type of um, uh, cost reductions, uh, the overall cost of energy reduction that we need to to make the marine energy industry competitive with other uh, low carbon energy. Uh, supplies. Uh, what you can see here is that the, um, the overall COE for uh, today's devices is somewhere between uh, 20 and 50 pence per uh, kilowatt hour. And uh, by 2020, that needs to, uh, that needs to halve uh, to be able to be competitive with other uh, supply. Now, going out to, uh, to 2050, you can see that that needs to halve again. So we were looking at very, very aggressive uh, cost reduction, uh, both in terms of capex, and you can see there in the, in the, in the top line of the, uh, the, the beige colored boxes, we're uh, looking at a range of about 1,250 to 1,750 pounds per kilowatt, uh, whereas today uh, we're, we're, we've got a range of about uh, 4,000 to 8,000 pounds per kilowatt. So that's a, that's a huge uh, uh, cost reduction that we need to do. The, um, similarly, it's not just on CapEx as well, then we've got to have similar efforts on uh, reducing the um, uh, O&M costs. Uh, we need to uh, have better availability, better reliability, and uh, give us a, a greater energy yield. The, uh, the ETI has invested in a number of uh, knowledge building projects, uh, of bioenergy and marine, uh, carbon capture and so on, uh, and, and also looking at uh, developing uh, technologies. Now, these can be either for devices or for components, um, but to help to bring the, um, uh, the, the, the type of cost reductions that, we're, uh, that we need to make. Um, and then finally, um, coming to fruition, we have some uh, technology demonstrators. Um, um, there's, there's one for Marine there, uh, which is down in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, which is a one megawatt uh, tidal stream device, uh, which has to date uh, supplied 250 megawatt hours uh, to the grid. Uh, so it's uh, pretty successful. Um, to wrap up, I'd just like to say that I believe that uh, marine energy be can be a part of the, uh, the UK uh, energy supply mix, um, particularly if we meet those very demanding cost targets. Thank you.